Ladies and gentlemen, the votes are in. You guys don't like this grill. 60% of you guys said to paint it black. 40% of you guys said to keep it. Pretty close, but we are gonna be painting it black at the end of this episode. Kinda of sad because I worked so hard to make it look so cool, but everyone was right. It doesn't really fit the bus. It just, black would look so much cleaner. So we are gonna paint that black. And today we are going to be making this lit. Oh, it's so fucking cold. We got LED tail lights in here. We got LED headlights. We got some LED side markers. And we got our old halogen top light things. I, I, don't, I don't know, top fog lights? What do, you, what do you call these things? School bus lights? These are the tail lights we went with. On each side we're gonna have four red ones and two white ones. It'll be nice and bright, nice and clean. They look a little bit more modern. Side marker lights, which we're gonna have to wire up. That's gonna be annoying. Headlights, same thing. That's all good. So that's what we're doing today. We're making it lit. I'm sorry, that joke's not funny. But before we do that, we have to fix the Rally Miata. The other day I was driving this beast and the brakes stopped working. The pedals went to the floor and, and it didn't really stop. It turns out I was out of fluid in the reservoir and yeah, so now I put fluid in, I'm gonna have to bleed the brakes. Thankfully this happened right outside in the parking lot right here, not on a public road, so I didn't die. That's ideal, that's nice, but I'm gonna fix it so I won't die. It's in, just barely. So I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and connect the lights, make sure everything works wiring wise. Power and ground for the running lights, uh, power for the reverse, power ground for brake lights, and power for the blinkers. So I'm gonna try to do this here. The white is the ground. What? Why is the white the ground? Um, all right, turn on the right turn single. Uh, that works. Um, pull the light handle one click so it's on daytime running lights. No, not good. So weird. Our stop. This is weird. Sadly, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Brake lights, turn lights, they work great. I do need the load resistors for the turn lights so they don't do the, the quick flashing thing, which is really annoying. The running lights and the reverse lights, both the wires are like giving out almost no voltage like you can see the lights light up just a tiny bit but they're so dim i don't know what it is but something about these reverse lights and the daytime running lights they're so dim the, the wires have like no voltage for now what i'm going to do is start to make the brake light housing All right, so I made this little plate. All of these lights are gonna be mounted on this and then this is going to be mounted to the bus. While I do that, I'm kind of trying to figure out the wiring for these lights, the daytime running lights. All those lights, they don't work. No nothing turns them on. And I'm guessing the school bus or the school district, should I say, did something to decommission it, like unplug the fuse or cut a wire or unplug something to make all those lights not work, because those are technically illegal. So I'm looking around, I think I just found something. There's a, a power cable on the battery that's not connected. So I'm gonna connect that 
and see if I can get any of those lights to work. I didn't film it, but that definitely fixed it because, whoa, everything works in here now. This switch panel right here, it works. I can actually turn these lights on and off. Hell yes, guys. So sick. I don't know if that fixed the lights. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these lights in up on the top so we can test to see if they are working. So previously the school bus had one yellow and one red light on both the back and the front. Now what I'm gonna be doing is putting all the red lights in the back and all the yellow lights in the front. So it'll match, look a little bit cleaner. In the future, I am gonna put some like LED KC lights or off-road lights up in the front where the uh, these lights are. But for now, we're just gonna reinstall the old lights. Uh, yep, one of them's flashing. Okay. Just the one, just the left one. Yeah, so the inside ones are oscillating. Try another setting. That's like the only thing you can find. You tried everything? Oh, okay. Making very slow progress, but progress nonetheless. It's gonna be essentially someone like this. Can you hold this here for a second? Oh yeah, I like it. I'm trying to wire up these tail lights and we just discovered something really weird. If I remember correctly, there was something weird about the stock brake lights where instead of having two powers and one ground, it had one power and two grounds. I, I can't understand this right now, but there's something weird going on where when you turn the daytime running lights on and you hit the brakes, it cuts power or reverses power or does something. And we can't figure out how to get a light to turn on when you hit the brakes when the daytime running lights are on. When the daytime running lights are off, Brakes work perfectly, but as soon as you turn the daytime running lights on, nothing. We'll, we'll keep messing around. The other thing is that the battery is dead, so we don't have much testing left until the battery just completely goes flat. So I don't know what to do. All right, now turn on the right blinker. Right, right blinker? Yeah, yeah, right blinker, okay. Throw it into reverse. All right, so the reverse light works. Put the brake on and off. So the brake light works. Now turn the daytime running lights on. Daytime running lights on. Daytime running lights work. Now brake. Brake. Yeah. Everything works? No. That's so annoying. And you see how the run light turned on and off? Yeah. It's so weird. We figured it out. That's all I'm gonna do back here for right now. I'm gonna switch to working up here, getting the new headlights in, getting the new amber lights in, getting the new daytime running lights in. All amber. Orange, cool stuff. We got this nice headlight with an aux beam LED light in there. It's the same setup I'm running on the RX-7. These are actually the exact same lights that I have on the RX-7. They're really bright, they're really awesome, really easy to install, so this is what I'm using. <sighs> Goodbye, America. Starting to look like a school bus again, kind of. Also, these lights are so bright. And this is when the battery's dead, so they're gonna get even brighter. <laughs> I'm really happy with the way that this is coming along. Those headlights look awesome, and those lights look awesome as well. I just finished the top middle ones, which was kind of a pain because I didn't want to step on the plastic hood, but I, I had to, I don't know. It was a little difficult getting those in, but they're all in, they're all wired up. I can't show you because the battery's dead, which we will fix, but um, they work, so. Cool. And sadly guys, that is going to be it for this video. I really wanted to finish everything with the lighting in one video, but 
Everything just took so much longer than I expected and I'm, I'm not able to. I'll blame that on two things. Number one, none of the bus wiring was even working before today and it took me a while to figure out why it wasn't working and to fix it. But we did fix that and that is so important. The door is now motorized and that works so we no longer have to find the door fix because it actually stays shut because the motor is actually on. Um, the top lights work, the heater works, the fan works, everything works now, which is really awesome. But it did take a while to figure that out. And number two, the lighting back here, the wiring for it is just, it's so dumb. For instance, the, the black wire is the power wire and the white wire is the ground. Why? I feel like it's kind of counterintuitive, but oh well, I figured it out eventually, it just took a while. I'm really sorry, I don't like splitting videos up into two parts, but I know I have at least another day's work ahead of me, so I'm gonna have to, otherwise it's gonna be like five days till the next video. I promise I'm not just being lazy, I'm working really hard to get all this stuff done. It's just, sometimes it takes longer than I want, so. I'm sorry, again. I feel bad just because I know whenever I watch videos, I wanna see the entire thing done in one video. I don't wanna wait for another video. But uh, in the future, if you guys want me to just wait until I finish everything and put it in one video, no matter how long it takes, let me know, because I can do that. I don't really care. I just feel bad if I don't upload for a while. But yeah, I feel bad if I put it into two different, I don't know, it's just, it's a lose-lose situation. I just gotta figure these things out quicker. But despite it taking so long, uh, it is really awesome. Everything in here works, which is just so utterly important. Like, I can't express the importance of that. Like, how convenient it is that we managed to fix that. Because it would have been a pain. If I wasn't able to fix the bus wiring, I would have had to, like, run all the wires for all those lights. And it would have taken forever, so... Oh well. So hopefully you guys did still enjoy. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike and tell me why so I can improve. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, um, share the video, buy some key tags, and I think that's pretty much it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the lights. Um, I'm sure you will anyway. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Peace out.